Hello, fifth grade. This is your Unit 4 Week 3 Grammar video. Um, this is an introduction to pronoun and verb agreement. And let's start off with a quote from the great Jackie Robinson um, as far as our theme this week about people making a change. And he said that the right to every American of every American to first class citizenship is the most important issue of our time. And we might think about that even today. So let's jump in here. Um, first of all, in your three subject notebook, if you would like to, you may take notes over this in your grammar section. It is not required. However, it is suggested so that you can keep track of this as we go along through the rest of the year. Remember, you can always stop the video and write what you need to and then start it back up again. And I have here another quote from an author, C.S. Lewis. He's the one that wrote um, The Chronicles of Narnia. And he said, you can make anything by writing, which is exciting to hear. So in pronoun and verb agreement, what we're really looking at is whether or not we add S to the verb to make it make sense with the pronoun that's in the sentence. And remember, a pronoun is just a word that we use to replace the actual name of something so that it doesn't sound like we're constantly repeating the word over and over again. So we add S to most present tense verbs when you use singular pronouns such as he, she, and it. Do not though add S to present tense verbs when you use I, we, you, and they. So our examples here are on to the right side. It says, he sleeps in a brand new bed tonight. And if you look at the word sleeps, that's our verb. We only add the S because we had the pronoun he. There's only one person sleeping in that brand new bed tonight. She sees herself in the mirror. So here we have the pronoun she. The verb is see, but because we only have one, one she, we're going to add that S to make the pronoun and the verb agree. It smells like apple pie. Ah, oh, sounds delicious. But if we have it, and what is it doing? It is smells. So we have to add that S because there's it in front of it. Okay? Now, if we were to change this to I see myself in the mirror, we would not use that S. Okay, or if we change it to I sleep in a brand new bed tonight, we would not say I sleeps in a brand new bed tonight because that shows that they don't agree. All right, now getting into some more difficult pronouns. Some pronouns are what we call indefinite because what indefinite means is we just don't know how many people or things are in that pronoun. So some of them are singular, some indefinite pronouns are singular, and others are plural. And some can be both, which is even more confusing. And just remember that indefinite pronouns just means that there's an amount of something, but we don't know how exactly, how many, and or we've just chosen not to give the exact amount, okay? So our example over here is all of this is yours. And in this case, the indefinite pronoun is all. We don't know how many all is. It could be 14 pairs of shoes, but all of this is yours, okay? So we use is instead of are for that because it wouldn't sound right, would it? All of this are yours, that doesn't make sense, okay? Um, the next uh, example is all of us are hungry. And in this case, we're going to use the word are because we're going to look at the pronoun us right before it and tell us that that probably means more than one person. So we wouldn't say all of us is hungry. We would say all of us are hungry. Okay. When an indefinite pronoun is used as a subject, the verb has to agree with it. It must do that. So here's our example for that. Many are traveling to Mexico next week. 
So our indefinite pronoun is many. And because we don't know what it is or how many of it is, we have to use the word are. Many are traveling to Mexico next week. And then this one, we'd have everyone saw the car speed around the neighborhood. In this case, we would use the word saw instead of sees. Okay? So, my suggestion to you is just to make sure that it sounds good. Okay? And um, I think you'll find that it's pretty easy once you get into your assignment this week. All right? So this is the end of our video for grammar this week. And our quote at the very end here is, people who make the world better for other people are some of the best people. And you guys are some of the best people. So that's from my, my one of my favorite guys, Kid President. So hope you're having a good week. Let us know if you have any questions. You may end the video now.